And next, what I'm trying to do is uh, emphasize the foreground and uh, do the render setting. Well, by emphasize the foreground, actually, you can see what I'm doing is just adding more uh, assets from Party Heaven, some plants. Um, yeah, it just I because I noticed one thing is I always I previously I was kind of treating uh, this entire fighting scene as a, a you know foreground, but later on I noticed I'm wrong <laughs> because obviously they if our focal point is on the you know this fighting between body and the giant statue and uh, um i would say they are actually a background and so i want to adding another layer of foreground you know and to you know that's that make that actually makes sense because well you you, you can see i i kind of didn't do much this fighting very intent you know kind of in moment uh, uh keyframe illustration what i'm doing is kind of more of establishing shot so uh, I noticed, yeah, I needed making a more foreground and just more ma making all more overlapping, which is you know those plants going to block overlapping with rock, rock overlapping with the dead trees, and dead tree overlapping with ruins, ruins overlapping with grass, grass moving overlapping with well more ruins. It's just you know layer of after layer, layer of layer. It's just well, it's just you know what we need to do when we creating uh, this very rich. A uh, uh, nature environment, or at the same time, the the the, the commercial concept, up. and uh, yeah. So I think the, this thing giving us a really good blocking. But of course, actually later on, I will I will changing the uh, uh, the 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 composition and creating another block on the the uh, the left side. But that's uh, something I will do later. So let's get into the uh, render property. What I'm doing is just I will uh, activating uh, ambient occlusion, and uh, I will activating uh, mist pass and our normal pass. Those pass going to helping us to uh, um, do the composting, and also because uh, the water is actually well, the element with alpha is kind of didn't render in the very good way to generating good render pass in Blender. So I will turn off this water pass. And render a separate separate combined uh, uh, result to basically I will render twice. One is with water, this kind of special effect, well, two D effect, and an another is I will turn off those things. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I my max sample is kind of not pretty high, you know, just two hundred fifty, but it's good enough for me. And I will using denoise it because with denoise actually, you know, you, you don't kind of kind of for for concept paintings kind of okay and my resolution is a bit, uh, a bit higher than of course is a uh, not 4k it's not 6k it's somewhere between 4k and the 6k and i will render a bit higher and bigger resolution and later on i will compress into a street uh, 4k image and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much my render setting and next next thing i'm going to go to the uh, world property to check our mispass look like and yeah, in, in in the world property, you can see the uh, uh uh what we try to do is creating a beautiful separation. We wanted a beautiful separation between foreground, background, and the background. So I changed four out into linear. You know, I I gotta be honest, it, I didn't figure out the setting like very much. You know, I didn't really spend the quality time to understand what they mean. I just I just tweaked the setting and try to figure out how is this good enough for me to do the thing I want to do, you know, which is beautiful, clear separation between mid-ground, foreground, and background. And you can just, uh, of course, you can you can find a lot of good tutorial on the uh, YouTube to talk about uh, the real, uh, uh, how those thing, how those parameter work. But also you can just, you know, doing something, what I'm doing, just, you know, play with the parameter and see the result. Overall, we did good separations we are chasing for, and also when we render after we render, we want to save our file into this open EXR multi layer uh, when we chose our file format. And yeah, this is pretty much it. And of course, this kind of uh, file is going to you need to uh, download another uh, as add-on for Photoshop kind of. Uh, in order they you know so you can open the kind of file format which is open exr file i think it's called exr io something 
And yeah, this is pretty much the, this chapter, and I see you next chapter.